Hey everyone, I am Von Lagaya, and uh, with us is... Sonic the Hedgehog! Yeah! Don't do this again. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> but no, really, it's Shade Vortex. Yep, today we play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Um, it's pretty much a requirement that I do a different introduction every time. <laughs> for you, maybe. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll stop the tradition. <laughs> so, anyways, you were saying? Mm hmm. What was I saying? Something about this episode. I don't know. But what are we going to be doing in this episode, for example? Uh, go back to the dark world. Cool. That sounds like a good idea. Of course, that was the wrong spot to do it. Yeah, I think that was a bad idea. Well, shut up. What do you know about ideas? Huh? I know what bad ideas are. Touche. <laughs> I'm gonna go through here, actually. Wait, have I done this dungeon? No, I haven't. I. Yeah, you have Can not. I, go? I was going to say, I don't recognize this dungeon whatsoever. So. Hmm. Oh no, this guy's retarded. I think I need to hit him with fire. I do recognize these guys, however, for some weird reason. <laughs> it's almost like deja vu. I think I did this and then I got raped, so I just decided to like, do it again later. Oh yay! Yeah, that was funny. You raged so hard that day. Except not really. I know, but you still uh, pretty much quit the game. Yes. <laughs> you didn't feel like doing it again. So it was rage quitting, man. Pretty much. In here. Ow. Yeah, this not that I blame. Annoying. Not that I blame you for it, because honestly, this dungeon is retarded. I have seen what. You people have yet to see. <laughs> and this isn't even the worst of it. This dungeon gets seriously ridiculous at points. Like, some parts yeah. of it, I really wonder how you're supposed to do it. I don't know, but I got a compass. I don't remember if you had gotten that last time. Probably I did. did. I did. Push this and go ah. this way. That's good. Oh no, more of these oh, God. green vestiges. Oh god. No. They're like some sort of prennies. Yes, Turn they're around, all curtains. <sighs> all of those prennies are curtains. I've just realized this. And if I knew who only Curtis was, I still wouldn't care. And anyone who does play this guy would get the joke. That's just great. Now you're your bunny. Freaking controls are being douchebags. Why are you blaming the controls, man? I don't know. See, look at that crap. He wouldn't move down. It could be the icy floor being a problem. Yeah, and my controller being an asshat. Oh. I have to play this with an analog stick, so it's kind of a pain. I thought an analog stick was a good way to play retro games. Not really. Oh wait, it, it's a D-pad that's good for the retro games. Mm -hmm. I kind of... Uh... Had the... Kinda switched around in my mind for a second. Had them confused for each other. Uh. It's like, I was thinking that an analog stick was a D-pad and a D-pad was an analog stick. <laughs> Aren't I crazy? Yes. Completely retarded. <laughs> I got more bombs. Oh god, this room. This yeah, is I what I... I not to uh, get those items from that thing. How come? The fairy thing. 
because it, it would have taken too long. I need to get more rupees. Ah. I didn't really feel like doing that. In case anyone hasn't realized yet, this is one of the things I was talking about when I said that there was worse things to come in this dungeon. It's like right. a moving room with spikes everywhere. Yes, this room is annoying. Of course, this fireball thing too. Fire yes. sticks. Doesn't it make you think of Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3? Yes. Except those don't knock you in a hole. Yeah. It's almost like a top-down Mario. <laughs> I go down here. They, they could have easily made a Mario game like this. They could have, but this is Zelda's domain. Yes, it is. But you know what's Mario's domain? What? Being yeah. a gorilla soldier. Nope. Yep. Nope. He's gonna shoot you with his gun, man. He doesn't have a gun anymore. Yeah, he doesn't. But yeah, I was just reading on IGN today that Shigeru Miyamoto actually had ideas that he scrapped for Mario. Like one of the original concepts is that Mario was going to be some type of soldier with a gun and instead of shooting fireballs, he would shoot bullets. <laughs> He decided that being able to shoot bullets anywhere would make the game too easy. Hmm. So he limited. Took some drugs, and Mario was born. <laughs> I get it. Yes, Mario and drugs—they're pretty much synonymous. Go. Okay. Thank you, Link. Let's see. Time for more Mario trivia. Oh, most Trivia's people know. Lame. Most people know this, but Mario was going to be a carpenter originally. <laughs> it's like Donkey Kong. His original appearance was pretty much a construction site, so Mario was made into a carpenter and for the game. But huh. people thought that he looked more like a plumber, so he was made into a plumber. That was an accident, folks. Ha ha ha. Me going where I didn't want to go. No, turn around. Mario Emoto has been quoted as saying that the scenario dictates Mario's role. <laughs> Link's role is pretty much set in stone for every Link, but too bad there are many Links. Mm -hmm. None of them are really the same. Zelda one one link and Zelda 2 Link are the same. Well, that's the only exception, really, other than Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask having the same Link. And, and um, Phantom Hourglass and Wind Waker, they have the same Link as well. Yeah. But Spirit Tracks For God's is sake. a different Link. I hate those but stupid things. The games where you are the same Link are pretty rare, though. It's more common for you to be a different Link. Mm -hmm. And the people have in no way as good as the original. <laughs> well, Majora's Mask. And people would say that Phantom Hourglass is worse than Wind Waker. I might be inclined to agree, but I've never played it. But you, it does you, look stupid. You agree, trust me. Okay, fine. I'll agree. You don't need to play it to agree. That game is horrible. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks look totally stupid to me. Spirit Tracks is fun. Phantom Hourglass isn't. Hmm. Because of the Temple of the Ocean King thing, it ruins the entire game for me. Ah. Uh, no, Wind go Waker. Away, funny thing. Wind Waker was fun, but most people, like me, hated the sailing. 
But without the sailing, the game would be pretty sh damn short. I didn't mind the sail sailing. Sailing! For God's sake. I didn't mind it because it was fun to explore. No! Get out of my face! Look how stupid this is. Take that, you stupid bomb. <laughs> Interesting. What? Shigeru Miyamoto has been quoted to say, We originally thought about having a shoot 'em up stage where Mario jumps on a cloud and shoots at enemies, but we dropped it because we wanted to focus on jumping action. The sky based bonus stages are the remnants of that idea, you could say. Hmm. That is rather interesting. Mm hmm. Indeed. But yeah, some people think that the Skyward Sword thing pretty much looks exactly like, uh. Oh, great. Twilight Princess Link. Oh, this room. Now I remember. This is where we got stuck. Yeah, well, I have to go back to the beginning now. Yep. That's stupid. I don't know what to do with that room still. Okay, I can't slash that guy. Can I only use fire? Like, what the hell? God! Hmm. Huh. Things are just not working for me right now. Hmm. It's kind of annoying. Ah, uh, that sucks. Have to make my way all the way back through this again. That is so dumb. <laughs> what? Hmm. That's crap. Oh no. Ah, this is another interesting quote. The first game prototype that they had for Mario wasn't very good because you couldn't see very far ahead of you. People wanted to have more of the world visible on screen, but they didn't want to make Mario any smaller than he was. So they decided to build the world on the scale of a Mar smaller Mario and make him larger in the final version. That's the moment they sh struck upon the idea of starting Mario out small and letting him get bigger later. Uh huh. Interesting. I suppose it is. But yeah, different Mario's different. Well, each Mario is the same, but yeah. Point uh. is, Mario can, Mario can be anything, but technically so can Z Link, because there are so many Links. <laughs> I mean, one Link is a friggin' train conductor. Who would have ever seen that ten years ago? <laughs> if you had said that ten years ago, the Zelda fans would be all like, That's blasphemous. It will never happen. <laughs> I suppose so, but, but it all depends. Around the same time, if you had said that, hey, Sonic and Mario are going to have a game together someday, that would have been called Blasphemous 2. Friggin' Olympics. <laughs> I hope that they eventually do a platformer with those two, but I kind of doubt it will ever happen because... Uh, the Sega of America president, or whatever he is, said that the Mario and Sonic series is a party game series. So that pretty much <laughs> confirms that they're not going to be doing a platformer in my eyes, because oh. you, can't, you can't have a platformer be a party game. <laughs> I guess so. 
However, I have heard that the next Mario and Sonic game is not going to be sports related, so I don't know what it is going to be. Maybe it's going to be a Mario Party knockoff, kind of like Sonic Shuffle. Yeah. Sonic Shuffle was... It was alright. It's not as bad as people think it is. But it's not overly good either. Remember, the Sonic series has fans who think that having blue eyelids or green eyes means that you're the most horrible thing in the world. <laughs> Which is kind of mental, but oh well. Hmm. You know, doesn't Link have blue eyes nowadays? I don't know. I'm going to look that up right now. Not like I'm paying too much attention to what you're doing anyways. I mean, you're going around this room full with spike enemies. Hmm. You should be paying attention. Bum. Bum? I'm not a bum. Yes, you are. Yeah, Link has blue eyes. People were actually arguing what well, one person was saying that Sonic should have had blue eyes because it would have complimented him better. <laughs> when you have people arguing about what colors would be better for characters, you know that a series has been around for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps too long. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Some series have been around too long. <coughs> Final Fantasy! <laughs> Seriously, the first game was supposed to be the last game, but because it was popular... Oh my god, Square Enix doesn't have to shut down. Well, it was Square back then, but you get my point. That was seriously supposed to be the last game, but you yeah, faggots no. had to buy it. <laughs> nah, I'm just what? kidding. <laughs> I'm just like, but you faggots had to buy it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Ah, now I gotta fall down there. That's annoying. We. The whole joke there is that, basically, back in the day, if you were a Zelda fan, you were a Final Fantasy fan. At least most people were. But nowadays, it's all about, Oh my god, if you like a Nintendo game, you're a faggot. You have to like Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. but those guys I'm sorry. Can stay in their shitty frats, make themselves look like retards more than they already do. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm sorry if... I like my taste in gaming. Doesn't make me a faggot, but if you think that it makes me a faggot, that makes you the faggot. <laughs> I like what I like. I like Halo, and I like Mario, and I like Sonic. Mm hmm. Oh, for God's sake. I so can like a variety of games. Yeah, but they don't want a variety. They want the same thing over and over. FPS is all the way. Forever. I mean, not that I'm against FPS games, but, you know, they don't want variety. It's kind of stupid. It's like, derp. Look at my kill streak. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you don't have a good kill death ratio, then you are a loser. Oh, come on. You can have just fun at the game. It's not about winning or losing. Mm-hmm. But these people are mental. So, whatever. I like how I've been talking about a whole bunch of games like first-person shooters, Mario, Sonic, uh, Zelda. I tend to talk about whatever I can think of. Hmm. That, that's a good thing. I'm not saying that I promote having an extremely inconsistent conversation 
for a let's play. <laughs> That's what I do. Well, who I don't fault really is that, huh? <laughs> I don't really streamline things together. That would require me writing a script about the same thing. <sighs> Yay, fairy! That stupid bouncing retard. Yes, I said yeah. it was a retard. What you gonna do so, about it, huh? I don't care. Miyamoto versus the Rubik's Cube. What? How <laughs> would Miyamoto be fighting a Rubik's Cube for? I don't know. It's like. He was quoted as saying, When there are several possibilities, I choose the easy one. For quite some time, I have viewed Professor Rubik, who created the Rubik's Cube, as a sort of rival. I've always thought it would be cool to create something like a Rubik's Cube. I've told lots of people about that. For 20 years, I always thought that Rubik's Cubes are great, and I want to make something like them. But I still haven't tried to, so I must be taking it easy. Regardless of whether I can or cannot do it, I could at least give it a shot, but I never have. <laughs> he wants to make a Rubik's Cube. He should make a whole game about a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I feel like Mario Cubes. And at least all the I've... Are based in cubes. And you have to at find least... special cube fairies and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. You have to find all the stickers to put on the Rubik's Cube throughout the game. <laughs> okay, so, um. You want to possess the med medicine of magic? I got ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. But where? Ow. Yeah, this is totally a fun episode, huh? Yes, it's always fun. Watch me wander aimlessly. Yep. Isn't it the best thing ever? Shut up. Just kidding. This is or why I've I? also been talking about these quotes. Originally, there were two designs chosen for Mario. Two designs that were designed. But... Of course they were designed. If they yes. weren't designed, that would fail to make them a design. <laughs> I like re being redundant. Ah, <sighs> oh, rage, 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 rage. I need the big key. Where the hell is it? Well, I know where it is. No, I don't, actually. Where the hell am I? You are in the craziest land on Earth. See, that goes up there. And, well, out. Goes to that room. But then, like, how the hell do I get across the spikes? I can't run across them. It's probably the item I need in this dungeon. Hmm. See, I need the big key to get in there. To get that chest, I mean. But... <sighs> Where did they put it? The original Mario Bros. takes place in New York, underground. Not really. Yes, really. He gets flushed down a toilet and ends, ends up in the Mushroom Kingdom. That's what happens in the actual book for the game, too. Well, I'm taking <laughs> this quote from my motto. It's like, uh... 
With Mario, I think Mario Bros, uh, we had a setting, of course, that was underground, so I just decided Mario is a plumber. Let's put him in New York and he can be Italian. There was really no other deep thought other than that. Uh-huh. So yeah, obviously Mario is an Italian plumber in New York. In the original Mario Bros, and not Super Mario Bros, right? Or just on uh, the ground and you hit the blocks and kill the enemies. Yeah. Right. But I'm not sure how canonical the whole getting flushed down the toilet thing is anyways. Especially since uh, that gets retconned in the very next game where it's almost like they've always been in the Mushroom Kingdom. I guess so, yeah. It sort of became their world that they live in. Huh. I got game over, because that's fun, right? <sighs> this dungeon is so annoying. <laughs> Mario's hat right now. Mario's hat made drawing his face easy. Okay. Look at that stupid crap. I hate those guys. Really badly. Haha. Uh -huh. huh. Okay, so I do need to get back there somehow too. But I don't know how. Cool. Eh, whatever. I'll continue this later in the next one. So we'll see you then. Alright, see you then. Take care.